Hi, I'm Ashok Kumar. In this episode, let's learn Firebase. Firebase is a real-time remote database from Google. Yes, you heard it right. Google had acquired Firebase a couple of months back and it's been quite impressively improving on its features. Its features include Firebase real-time database, which means every transaction that you do with Firebase is real-time in nature. Data in your Firebase database is stored as JSON and synchronized in real time to every connected client. Suppose the application that you have built which used Firebase and it had about hundreds of thousands of downloads. So all connected apps will sync in real time. So it automatically scales the data storage so basically in the free pricing model, it gives about 1 GB of data storage, which is way, way big and 10 GB of transfer. And, you know, there are other features for only for nothing. And if you are, if you can able to afford a little more, like about a $5 per month, you can get your own custom domain on that $5 per month. If you can increase a little bit and go for $50, like about $49 per month, you can get about 10 JB storage and pricing model goes on that. So when it comes to features, features are exclusively super secure and it scales automatically the first class security features. It works offline and it has a way better, that, way better authentication system. It has its own hosting facility. If you are a web developer, you would really get an amazing idea about it and it gives an SSL certificate by default so that's something interesting and from that to even from global CDN okay so in this episode let's build a simple Android app which uses this Firebase remote real-time database system so let's get started so I have added the links that I have used to get started so this is a quick start link from Firebase so in the first step, we will add the Gradle dependency to our Android app. And see, the one must and should point is packaging options. This is very important. This is a license from Firebase, which needs to be included in the Gradle at any cost. So let's sync the Gradle build after you adding the exact dependency and the packaging option. And later to that, do not forget to add internet permission. So without internet permission, the remote real-time database cannot sync and your app could definitely get crashed. So I have created nothing but a main activity and a simple Android empty project. So this is some, a simple hello world text and a small ID. So the project has been synced. So now let's get started. In the main activity, first what I'll do, I'll create Firebase dot set Android context. So this is something important, which is the first step you can consider. And then later to this, I'll create a text view telling a fire data. After that, I'll create Firebase class itself and call it as mref, meaning member function reference, member variable reference. Okay, so I'll create my Firebase text view where I'll be able to pull in my real time data from and displaying it in this simple text view. So that's it. So this is it. And now nmref create a constructor. So this constructor accepts URL. A URL is a string which is created by us. So what I'll do, I'll show you. So once you log in successfully to the Firebase system, you'll be able to see your projects like this cards. So what I have done, I have taken my sample first project 
and created an URL called condition like this just like this you can just type this variable and it, it should be accessible firebase creates it for you automatically so copy this URL just like this your first project under condition and copy this yes that's it so so this is the URL so once that's done what I'll do so I'll add value event listener and I'll create value event listener and that creates two callbacks telling on data change on cancelled so in on data change I'll create a string variable called super data which is changed and I'll take this snapshot object on data change and I'll get the value from it and I'm pretty sure that no this value is a string because I'm, I'm the one who created it so basically this firebase works with hash map structure everything is an object so instead of creating an object I created a direct string so I have got the string called super data from firebase snapshot and what I'll be doing I'll be embedding that to my text view I mean I'll be adding this super data to my text view and this super data is retrieved from firebase so how do I do it I'll show you in a second in real time so I have compiled this program and it's running in my real de real device so before hosting my device I would like to share this so in your project URL so so go to the the child that you have created maybe it's condition or your name or whatever it is so that would be a string so now let's launch the app so the app is this one so now we can able to see this hello world because so it's not connected to the firebase once it's connected it should say super sexy I believe it's saying that so what I'll do I'll uh, yes I'll show you in real time so now firebase is super cool you guys can see that it's changed in real time so I'll change it again Firebase and Android together rocks whoa so this is the power of Firebase so based on your subscription and comments on the video I would like to post another video on chatting application using firebase so like the video subscribe to my channel comment on my videos thank you so much for watching this episode